Now, most of the council members stayed away from TV cameras after court, thus avoiding what was in those hundreds of text messages. So we had Walter Smith Randolph look at every single one. He's at City Hall now with what they reveal. Hi, Walter. Hi, Robin Cammie. Yeah, these text messages are a hodgepodge of personal affairs mixed in with city business. The texts are what you might expect of between colleagues and even friends. But here's where the Gang of Five went wrong. They were cl clearly strategizing and also belittling other city council members and even the mayor. These text messages among five members of city council give you a look behind the closed doors at City Hall. P.G. Sittenfeld, Chris Seelbach, Wendell Young, Tamaya Denard, and Greg Landsman all exchanging messages about personal affairs and city business. There's the innocent messages, like discussing Chris Seelbach's wedding plans and bachelor party. But there's also the nefarious, like Seelbach and Sittenfeld accusing Vice Mayor Chris Smitherman of using his dying wife as a political prop. Pamela Smitherman died of breast cancer in January. In another thread, Sittenfeld and Seelbach say council member Amy Murray lacks courage and an unwillingness to actually govern. The big takeaway, the Democratic Gang of Five discuss almost every major issue before city council meetings. This thread shows the strategy behind having a united front in the debate over the ousting of former city manager Harry Black. We should give John hell tomorrow, said Seelbach, referring to the mayor. Another thread shows Wendell Young accusing the mayor of lying, calling him mini Trump. The messages also show some city council members thought the text thread might not be a good idea. Landsman saying, we're coming close to opening ourselves up to a sunshine law issue. A very fair consideration, responds Sittenfeld. Now, only Landsman and Silbach talked to Local 12 today, apologizing, also saying that they didn't mean to break the law. Now, the other members of the Gang of Five, they either released statements today or took to Twitter to try to explain themselves and also offer an apology. Robin Cammy. All right, Walter, thank you. Not all of the texts were released today because Wendell Young deleted some of his messages. Today in court, Young's lawyer said the council member did not delete any messages after the judge ordered him not to. There will be a hearing on whether he is in contempt of court. That'll take place on April 1st.